हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई प्रोफेसर एन बी भोकनर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एंड प्लांट पैथोलॉजी करंटली वर्किंग इन केकेवा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक वेलकम बैक इन टूडे सेशन टुडे वी विल बी डीलिंग विद अ टॉपिक दैट इज इकोलॉजिकल मैनेजमेंट ऑफ क्रॉप एनवायरमेंट लेट्स सी कंटेंट्स लेट्स रिकैप व्हाट वी हैव सीन ड्यूरिंग लास्ट लेक्चर ड्यूरिंग लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड डिफरेंट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ आईपीडीएम इट्स एप्लीकेशन एंड एग्जांपल नेक्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन हाउ द डिसीज ऑकर्स देन डिसीज ट्रायंगल एंड इट्स कंपोनेंट then uh, by environment manipulations how we can manage the disease then with the help of host manipulation how we can save our crop then by manipulating the pathogen how we can manage the disease and last examples and then conclusion so let's see in detail how disease occurs when the host is susceptible pathogen is virulent and environment it is favorable for the growth of pathogen then only disease occurs for disease occurrence all three must occur at the same time then uh, pesticide based agriculture so it uh, concentrates mainly on reducing the disease after it is seen then in case of ecological disease management it concentrates on avoiding the condition that predispose to the disease then next one that is environment ma manipulations in that the grower usually has uh, most control over the cropping environment uh, examples it include uh, increasing plant spacing in this case uh, that is by reducing humidity and uh, decreasing the infection then uh, regulate the amount of irrigation and drainage choosing where the crop is grown that means uh, choosing the climate soil nutrition soil biodiversity etc then in case of host manipulation how we can manipulate the host we often have less control of the host since we have already chosen it and uh, we can look for resistant cultivars use pathogen free uh, planting cultivars and uh, this can be achieved through the quarantine or eradication techniques like hot water seed treatment crop rotation in in that case, case uh, mix cropping intercropping etc then next one pathogen manipulation so how we can manage the or uh, manipulate the pathogen generally we try to keep the pathogen out of the field or uh, get rid of it uh, when it is seen uh, in this case uh, it can be done either manually by uh, removing the affected host tissue or by chemicals uh, then there are some chemicals that is copper sulfur and neem uh, these are primary disease controlling chemicals and the newer techniques that is uh, still needs a lot of understanding that means the non pathogenic uh, microbes they compete or kill the pathogen then in case of ecological agriculture we must include diversity of microbes in soil and on leaves for a uh, disease control in future then uh, what are climate and weather pattern for disease development actually there are different uh, conditions for uh, different pathogens generally most uh, pathogens plant pathogens they uh, require wet warm weather and uh, free moisture on the plant leaf surface for uh, disease development and when uh, there is extreme temperature that is uh, too hot or too cold then the host becomes susceptible to particular pathogen or disease then in case of uh, some pathogens uh, such as uh, anthracnose disease which produces spores typically canidia and uh, they need rain to spread the spores while in some cases some pathogens that is powdery mildew downy mildew they need wind to spreading the infection and there are some uh, pathogens typically particularly the bacterial disease they need both wind and rain 
so what is the bottom line at the end of lesson we studied ecological management of crop environment in order to save the crop from the pathogen it includes disease triangle uh, that is by manipulating host pathogen and environment condition we can avoid or uh, the disease or uh, minimize the losses so thanks for patient listening see you in the next session bye take care